Now this is the Hell 2.0 I wanted. Families meeting new people together individually. All thanks to Chit Chat. What's Chit Chat? My new social media app. Aren't you using it? I'm in a... In the boot! That game is wicked cool! <laughs> but Chit Chat's the top banana. I just made eight new friends on it. Nobody's heard of Chit Chat, Father. Nonsense. It's so popular you'd think it was Rainbow Dash at a bronies convention. It's not popular at all. It's like a less famous uh, My Little Pony at a uh, bronies convention. Oh, I kind of trapped myself in a simile. I couldn't get myself out of there. Yeah! In the boot! team we pushed the slogan show me your chits and it bombed like Sven Gallup at a bronies convention I warned you against that slogan no time for apologies beans we gotta pump those numbers up those are rookie numbers Wolf of Wall Street falling back in love with you buddy sir if I may fix beans's unconscionable failure you should just order people to use chit chat you can't force people to use an app what people get online for is viral videos, which we can make. What kind of video? Wait, like colonoscopy cams from very, very thin pescatarians? I'm in! I once saw a tremendous zoetrope of a trotting pony. Like that? Ooh, can that be part of a shared cinematic universe? No, man, you guys are both so weird. Like an unboxing video where you open a box, then take out the thing that was in the box. They're huge, trust me. I don't know if you're serious. Are, are you? You? You're serious? Then I love it! <laughs> well, I do not trust you. My role as devil's advocate requires I maintain my dignity, so I want no part of this. We have to trust each other or we have nothing. You'll see, up on the trust table. All right, now close your eyes and fall. Trust is to catch you. <sighs> Very well. Ah, I landed on my huge Victorian era keys. Heart oh. fail. Okay, I order you to trust us. <laughs> At least I still have my dignity. Such a beautiful day. Welcome to Hell's first viral video. I'm Devil, and holding the camera is Head Demon Gloria. Hi, Mom. Actually, I was born from fire and dust, so high fire and dust. Let's put a pin in Gloria's existential crisis and see what we're unboxing today. This is the physical embodiment of Teppanites. The German concept of thinking of the perfect comeback long after the chance to use it has passed. Neat, huh? <laughs> now we unbox. Is, is that it? Beans, is that all I'm supposed to do? No, you kiss like a washing machine, Ashley Johnson. You do. Would have been perfect. Uh, okay. Uh, next up, we have a recent delivery. The paperwork says it contains Harvey Weinstein's deformed penis. Now we unbox. Oh, God, no! Oh, get it away from me! Ah! Did it? Ah, move? Smells like and sauerkraut. I saw it move. I feel the urge to ask it for a screen credit. Don't. Oh, it's got a gun! That is atrocious. I will never use chit chat again. This will work? Oh, yes. Tons of lame videos get views just because there's a hot woman in them. <clears throat> Today, I am showing you a hack of life. You can wrap small hand towel around the mug to keep it warm. Boobies, boobies, boobies. Maybe something sexier. You dare! I am Regina Axtrievix, succubus of the first host. You dare question my sexy? I'll show you how we scream in the pit. The souls of humans shred to tatters in my claws. Crush to dust between my loins. How's that better? Yes, thanks. Ah, oh, you cry from sexy. That makes me puke. There's better ways to keep mugs warm than that. Regina, come on. 
and I'll teach you. It's fun. You got money and I like money. You got money and I like money. You like birds and I got birds. You like birds and I got birds. Now you, McKinley. Challenge accepted. Dancing is a noble skill I have proudly mastered on the White House ballroom floor. Excellence at everything. This is the move that made King Alfonso the Thirteenth surrender Guam. I slightly moved my thumb to press play on that. I am told that cooking instructionals are popular. As a veteran of the American Civil War, my brothers and I faced such hardship that we ate our horses. Our delicious, delicious horses. First, I will explain how to slaughter the beast. This should only be attempted by the most virile men, such as myself. Youths have even called me a <laughs> bad motherfucker, you know. That's hilarious! <laughs> McKinley is Hell's first meme! Chit Chat must reach full penetration, McKinley. We're gonna meme the shit out of you. Oh, please, no. No penetration. We shall respect your wishes. <laughs> Did you get that? He thought I was a horse. Oh, classic McKinley. Damnation. impact of Earth's renewed interest in Dungeons and Dragons will have on incoming traffic during... Sir, we never received those projections. Impossible! I oversaw them myself! What have you done? I love these morning chit-chats, Teacher Lamia. They are improving your grades, Hellspawn. Charlotte, is your homework ready? Common core math has fallen before me! You see in this baby? Now that's chit chat! Oh, I suffocate in the sin of pride, my love. Children to school! That's McKinley. On your backpacks? Everyone loves his funny videos. My friends carve his name in the flesh of their enemies. Whoa! A lot to unpack there. McKinley, you'll never believe what my kids have. Hi! Oh, hey! uh, are you a McKinley maniac too? Excuse me, madam. What? Uh, uh. Beans, your viral videos have unleashed some kind of a curse. Hell wasn't ready for this much social media this fast. McKinley is Hell's first influencer. Bad motherfucker McKinley, I love him. He's on Chit Chat right now. Ah! Ow, since when is hell so rude? So, if the denizens of hell must be sheep, then your shepherd of influence, I shall be. Yeah! McKinley rules! Dude, it's so fun to have someone else define your identity. You gotta stop this! He's gonna influence everyone to shove sticks up their butts! And not in a, a, a fun way, but as a metaphor! Social media may be an unpredictable, noisy mess, but any idiot's voice can rise to the top at any time! Any idiot's voice, you say? When I am working, I do not smile. Smiles are your face stealing energy from the productive part of your body, your knees. I can see that! Knees! It's my most productive part. Punch yourself in the nuts! <laughs> Who said that? Identify yourself. <laughs> what were you? The president of eyebrows? <laughs> oh, right. I follow this guy because he's a joke. I want to see a horse kick you in the face. Cease this foolery! Cease this! Who is responsible for this? 
There is no place for disrespect in a civilized society. What? <laughs> 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 My attention is easily diverted. Remember how we were all into knees? A pox on the lot of you! Small pox, specifically! I blame you for this misbegotten circus. You know, very few people actually ever become influencers. And when they do, they're respected more than, like, the President of the United States. You should be proud. Uh, uh, well, of course. <laughs> On Earth, I served as president, and in Hell, I have become so much more. Carry on, Beans. Carry on. Good work today, Beans. I am proud of you, and I love that joke about influencers outdoing the president. That was true. Holy shit.